America is changing very quickly, and it's changing for the better. I am sincerely honored to be here with all of you tonight at this Human Rights Campaign Dinner. I am here to initiate my active involvement in the LGBT community in order to advocate on behalf of the HRC's mandate. I'm standing here in front of the most recognized human rights organization in the world, vocal because I have nothing to hide. There's absolutely no shame, there's nothing wrong with being gay. I knew that everyone knew I was gay, but I hated the press hating me for not coming out on their terms. And now they can always write it, and I'm finally okay with it, because it's not about them, it's about you and us. There are some things we do for ourselves, but there are some things we do for others. I am here because when I was young, I wanted very badly to be a writer. I wanted to be a filmmaker, but I couldn't find anyone like me in the world, and it felt that my dreams were foreclosed simply because my gender was less typical than others. If I can be that person for someone else, then the sacrifice of my private civic life may have value. You've changed and are changing the lives of little boys and girls who realize somewhere along the way they're just different from their other brothers and sisters. And so the fuck what? Today, somewhere in America, there's a young LGBT girl looking at the world, not even questioning whether there is something wrong with her. Because of the work you do, young men and women will now have their feet firmly planted on the exact same starting line as everyone else. The fight for LGBT rights and the fight against racism were one and the same. In the more than four years that I've been president of the NAACP, I've made it very clear that in order to have friends, you've got to be a friend. The L is not separate from the G or the B or the T or the Q or the S for that matter. Together they form a powerful alliance. Please know in all of your hearts, it is my pleasure to use my voice, heart and mind on behalf of this extraordinary community. Many gays and lesbians worked side by side with me in the 60s civil rights movement. Am I now to tell them, thanks for risking life and limb helping me win my rights, but they can't share now in the equality they helped to win? Not a chance. History has shown us time and again that those who exploit or impose their intolerance over others will eventually have their power overturned when we, who have our human rights suppressed, join together Stand strong and make our voices heard. This isn't about political parties. This is about reaching out to find a common ground. This is about the progress we've made, the changes we've seen, and the changes yet to come. There is nothing that would make me happier or make me prouder than to work side by side on these issues. I stand here because I want to go to Washington to be that new voice to stand with you because we can make a difference if we stand together. Let America be America again. The land that never has been yet, but yet must be. The land where everyone is free. The poor man, the Indian, the Negro, and the LGBT. The future we stand to gain is worth fighting for right now. A future with schools that welcome all young people and faith communities that embrace all who come to worship. A future with workplaces that respect our families and value our contributions regardless of who we are. And a future not long from now where who you love never limits how you live. <laughs>